I have a huge site planned and my task is to number these parking spaces. I could an mtex right here and say one uh, and then start copying my text but that's time consuming. Let's see how we can streamline this process and make it easier on ourselves. I'm going to utilize a couple of commands. First, the vconvert command. What vconvert does is convert geometry, in this case, my parking space lines into a block. If this is a block, I can quickly edit one and add my text efficiently. So click convert new and name this. We don't really care about that, even layers. All I want is to convert this into a block. I can edit one of these blocks. So I'm going to edit in place. I'm going to add a piece of text right here in the middle of my parking space. I'm going to say number like that. I can change the size. I am going to change this to a color that pops out like green and save. A piece of text was added immediately to all of my parking spaces. I can now explode all of these blocks in order to get access to those texts. Select everything with the select similar. I'm going to explode it. Once you have all of this text, you can now go to the final step. And what's the final step? Well, now you can auto number this text. So I'm going to use the tcount command. The problem is select multiple objects with this command. If you select all of these, the numbers are going to come in a random and weird order. And we don't want that. We need a way to sequentially numbers like one, two, three, and four in order. The trick here is to use the F option. Look how it's hidden in AutoCAD. It doesn't give you that option. So I'm going to press enter. Now we have secretly activated the fence selection. So now I can pick the order my numbering needs to be and start selecting my objects all the way up here and up here. The ordered one, I'm going to skip this two and this one also. So I'm going to go here, select this and that will be my last number. Once I press enter, it says select order. So I want regular one, two, three, and four numbering. So I'm gonna just press one and press enter. Also overwrite the text. We still have another problem. You're not slow because AutoCAD is hard. You're slow because you've been using commands the wrong way for years. If you actually want to fix that and learn fast tricks using only the regular commands you already have, te veo adentro.